Welcome to Inside Bremerton. This is the City of Bremerton's video newsletter that focuses on issues and topics important to its citizens. We are at the summit at Bay Vista and joining me is Kurt Wiest. Kurt is the Executive Director of Bremerton Housing. What a great day, Kurt. So this is a fabulous <laughs> day for the City of Bremerton and for the Bremerton Housing Authority. We're at the grand opening of the summit, which is phase one of the total redevelopment of the former West Park property. Kurt, tell us how much land is, is here. The total uh, parcel of land where West Park was located is 82 acres, and we have completely cleared it of the former dwellings that were here, and now mm -hmm. we're beginning the phases of uh, anticipated and planned uh, replacement housing and, and other developments on, on the site. Yeah, hard, very hard to remember what used to be on this site. It's totally um, cleared. Lots of trees left, though, however. But here we go on the total redevelopment, and this is phase one. We're at the summit. Tell us what's in this building here, Kurt. Sure. What will we see? This, uh, the summit uh, is located on the highest prominence of the 82-acre site. That's why I came up with the name Summit. Uh, 80, uh, 83 units, uh, one and two bedroom apartments. This building is owned by the Bremerton Housing Authority. It would be managed by a third party. Um, every apartment in this building is affordable to individuals that have a low income. It's subsidized through a variety of funding mechanisms uh, available through HUD and through low-income housing tax credits. But this represents the first phase of the replacement affordable housing on the West Park uh, site. But uh, this isn't all that's going to be here in, in Bay Vista. There's going to be a combination of uh, different housing types and different uh, types of development, not just affordable housing. Mm -hmm. Will there be, um, we saw on the um, digital picture of the planned area, there's plenty of green space. Do we see that? There is. One of the hallmarks of the site is uh, there will be open space that's open and available and encouraged for, for public use, not just those that live in this neighborhood, but the entire community. Nice. Will there be single family homes on in this area? We have lots for sale now. They've been improved with, uh, with uh, uh, utilities and streets, and, and they're all platted, ready to go. We've been marketing those. The market is obviously quite soft in this economy mm -hmm. for single family lot sites, but uh, our expectation is that when uh, Things start to lift a little bit in, in the economy, we'll see those lot sites move. It's a very desirable place. It's close in. Um, uh, it'll be a completely new neighborhood with parks and uh, design standards. Uh, basically what we are doing is creating a new neighborhood in Bremerton that is representative of every other neighborhood in Bremerton where you have um, single family homes and you have apartments and just mixed uses and mixed housing types. Very nice. Will there be uh, retail locations in the area? There is. We have uh, an eight-acre parcel on the corner of Kitsap Way and Arsenal down by the uh, City of Bremerton Fire Station. And we are currently ne in negotiation to sell that to a private developer for commercial use. Excellent. Excellent. So we're right. We are um, up above the corner of Kitsap Way and Oyster Bay Road. Mm -hmm and a very, uh, we can see our public works facility across the way here. Um, it's, it's a beautiful day and Kurt, we congratulate you. Let's hear about the different funding pieces that are used to do this total redevelopment. Tell us about that. It's a, uh, this is a mixed finance neighborhood. There are <laughs> lots of different funding sources and that's just how you develop uh, mm -hmm. these days. We had the, the uh, great fortune to get a $20 million grant from the Department of Housing and Urban Development through a program called HOPE 6, which is used to revitalize distressed public housing. Uh, that $20 million was basically wind in our sales to move forward the, the sub-area plan that was developed for this site. Um, we also expect that land sales to private developers will fund some of the other improvements on the site. Um, we received uh, funds from the Washington State Housing Finance Commission from the State of Washington Housing Trust Fund. Uh, we have also taken uh, uh, Bremerton Housing Authority's own funds that we earned from some of the enterprises that we're involved with and we've put those right back into this project. 
It's a, a true success story, and it's even, it's, we're marking the date here because we are standing in front of the grand opening of the summit at Bay Vista. We can see some construction off uh, far from us. You can certainly see it from Highway 3 mm -hmm. as you're going up and down the freeway. Congratulations, Kurt. It's a great day for our housing authority and for you and your staff and your board of directors Thank and you. the city of Bremerton. It's really, we're just real proud of it. Thank Thanks you. so much. I appreciate your interest. Thanks for joining us inside Bremerton. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Inside Bremerton. I found Mayor Patty Lent. We're at the grand opening of the summit at Bay Vista. What do you think, Mayor? I'm overwhelmed. I can't tell you that this is really just one piece of those 80 acres that we're redeveloping. If we have a beautiful downtown Bremerton, I have to tell you, this is a brand new neighborhood. It's something that the city will be very proud of. We had a great grand opening and they have people that are already moving in. I toured the one and two bedrooms and it's a little bit of everything and every unit has a balcony. Nice. So on days like That's, this, yeah. Who, who wouldn't want to be outside? I agree. Well, we're excited for this whole new area of redevelopment in our city of Bremerton. Thanks, Mayor. Thanks for joining us inside Bremerton.